Hello guys and welcome back. I am your host Tennessee's daughter and today I want to discuss with you guys the feeling of guilt and how it could possibly entrap you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the feeling of guilt can come in many forms, one being a relationship, one being your work life, you know. Um, there are so many times where jobs will call you and ask you, can you fill in because it's short staff, short handed, and on some of those days you'll go, right? And those other days you're like, uh, I'm not available because I got such a schedule. The whole time you ain't got nothing scheduled, but you just ain't trying to go to work. And then as time go on, you're like, oh man, I ain't had nothing to do today. I could have went in and helped them out and this, that, and the other. No, that is a feeling of guilt. Stick by what you say you was going to do when you had that first thought. If you don't have a goal in mind, some particular objective in mind that you're trying to reach, you should not be signing up to do no overtime for nobody and filling in this, this, that, and the third. Because I'm going to tell you, the moment anything happened to you physically, they will have your shift or whatever you were covered before the day's end, okay? Because that's how these jobs and, and corporations work. They already got things lined up. They always turn. They always got applications on file. Any event, they lose their health, and they probably got life insurance policy on you that you don't even know about, but uh, that's a whole other video. But um, and when, when it shows up in a relationship, it can show up, Here's an example. Um, you can be with somebody, got with them, and um, you might not have been doing, you know, your very best in life, but they accepted you, they got with you anyway, you know, and, and they might not even be the best person, but they accepted you, okay? And so when your life starts evolving, things start changing, you start vibrating on a higher level, which means that you're doing good, you're flourishing in life, but this person has become stagnant or they're not matching um, or complimenting the, the, the lifestyle that you're living now, not the one that you was living before, because honey, look, we, in, we reinvent ourselves every day and you have a right to do that without feeling guilty. And so it may come a time when you just like, okay, I don't want to be in this relationship no more for X, Y, Z which is your prerogative. You should not feel guilty for not wanting to be with somebody who accepted you at your lowest um, on the muscle um, just because they was there for you. Like, that is a feeling of guilt that you should not have. You have the right to change your mind. You have the right to continue to evolve if that means leaving behind a relationship that does not complement the person that you are today. And so I want us to do better by removing the feeling of feeling guilty you know we should not feel guilty for the things that we decide things that we um, choose to do those are our choices without our choices there is no freedom we need choices we and especially if they're good ones if this is to aid or assist you going forward then you should be able to do that without feeling guilty so if anybody's trying to make you feel guilty for deciding to do something that does not necessarily agree with what they want to do then um, that's even more of a reason to sever that connection, okay? You don't need to feel guilty about doing nothing because trust and believe, these people don't feel guilty when they got to do what they got to do. How many people have lost a job, okay? Been fired for a job for the same thing somebody else did, but they still got their job, but they chose to fire you, okay? Think about that next time you decide you're going to sign up and you're going to work for somebody and, and, and all these people out here that have lost positions and other people that have done the same things that other people have done and they still got their positions. I've worked a job like that where I was working with a girl that had walked out and, and on the job, you know, and was gone, came up missing for months on end. She got rehired. How? First of all, you have, um, um, these are criminal things. When you work in healthcare, if you were to walk off your job, that is patient abandonment. How you get rehired six months later? They got a position for you? You left your crew hanging? The people you work with, your coworkers and everything, that's not even a good look going forward. You can't use it. You shouldn't even be able to use that job as a reference, right? But think about those things when you start feeling guilty for not wanting to go in and help out a job that you're working for because at the end of the day, you got one life. And if you choose to sleep in on your day off, that is your prerogative. If you choose to go shopping with a family member because you ain't spent time with them on your day off and the job needed help, that is your right to tell them, no, you ain't coming in. And if you have outgrown a relationship with somebody, you don't have to feel guilty because they've been there for you before. You can remain friends and, and be there as you need to, but um, only in good grace, only in good in a good space. Because if this person is trying to make you feel worse, 
by not wanting to be with them anymore, then you don't even need to be their friend because they're not giving you free will. They're not giving you um, the space that you need to continue flourishing in life. And, and we need those permissions from these people to move forward without doing it ourselves and, and knowing that we are worthy to do what we want to do. So that's what this whole video is about. Not feeling guilty when you made a decision to do what it is that you wanted to do that was best for you. And if people can't find understanding in that, that's something that they need to work through. That's something that they need to figure out for themselves. You can't help people understand choices that you made for yourself if they don't understand it maybe they'll come to it at a later time you know but um so that's what i wanted to say to you guys today i hope that you guys can find this information and this little chit chat um very helpful and apply it to your own life you know um and in the meantime in between time i'm getting ready to eat me a beautiful dinner i'm about to insert a clip right here check out check out my dinner you see that i'm about to get down i'm about to get all the way down she is hungry so all my beautiful wildflowers, hey to you guys. I'm wishing you a beautiful end to the week and may you have the best experience over this weekend. Until the next video, you guys take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.